All right, so tomorrow's a shoot, and that means I gotta start prepping everything. And here's my mess, all my toys. I'm gonna start with the camera equipment. Okay, so since we're gonna have quick, easy scenes indoors, I'm not gonna bring all of my lights. And since one of them is a reshoot, I already know which lights to bring. So I got three LED lights, and then I got my my 1K, which that's uh, tungsten right there. These are pretty much gonna be soft lights, you know, keying them. Nothing crazy, especially since there's really good lighting in that apartment. We're not gonna need anything crazy, really. There is a nighttime outdoor scene. Right, and I'm gonna use lights just to highlight them because you got the the New York City buildings. It's gonna be lighting them up, and especially since um, it's gonna be kind of silhouetteish, you know, I don't really need anything crazy. And I'm gonna get another silhouette shot indoors. Still debating whether we're gonna shoot from outside looking in or inside against the window. Not sure. Really depends on the whole situation. Either one, it's gonna look good, and that's why I want to use the 1K for because it's like nice and punchy. So we're gonna start packing everything right now. Here it goes. We're gonna make sure that the batteries are charged, memory cards are fully formatted, and all the lenses are in place. I gotta get the lights. I need this 1K, because there's something in particular I might be doing with a silhouette shot. I'm gonna get this tripod. I don't wanna bring the super beefy one, because I just wanna carry light gotta get my stands you know because these lights are not gonna hold themselves you know what I mean matte box definitely need that for tomorrow because we're gonna do an outside shoot definitely need the cards got this crate the gels the gels yes they are important for mood and color changing man I gotta do another giveaway. I want you guys to, to learn how to use these if you don't know and beef up your projects. I'm telling you, you're gonna get some amazing shots. Love this thing. So we got our shooting schedule and we got the field log for our slate, right? We got our dry erase markers with us. We got some tape. Also got the case for the slate. I'm gonna go get a pencil or a pen. All right, so we got a bag of C47s. In our world, these things are called C47s. You do not call them clothespins. If you do, you will get kicked off the set. At least on my set, I'll kick you out. These are used for clamping gels and stuff like that on the barn doors of the lights. Very useful, especially since they don't burn up. Sometimes they do get hot and no smell nice and roasty don't use the plastic ones because that will melt right especially with these lights i always like to test them out make sure that the fuses are good on the dimmers there we go we have electricity see that very recently, I brought my 650 to a shoot like an idiot. I completely forgot that that was the one without a bulb because it burnt out. I always have a backup plan, so it don't matter. I'm always prepared, you know what I mean? And if I'm not prepared, I manage to solve the problem on set. I don't know how I do it, but I do it. I don't want to push my luck, but I'm just saying it is what it is. Tape, tape, tape. Okay, so unfortunately, these are not gaffer's tape, which that's where I dropped the ball. They are expensive gaffer's tape, but that's the industry standard. So I just got me some regular tape, whatever. It's gonna do the job. But yes, you always wanna go for gaffer's tape. You want white, black, red, yellow, blue, green, and anything else in between. These clamps, gotta get the clamps. You can get them at Home Depot. It's like a dollar and some change each. Also, these gloves. These gloves are very handy for hot lights like this. So you definitely wanna have a pair of these when you're working with lights like that so you don't burn yourself. Gotta get the extension cords, but we call them stingers. They're supposed to be the all black ones. I know these are the orange and black ones, but whatever. Still, in the film world, they are called stingers. You don't say, hand me the extension cord. You don't say that. And we definitely need a bounce, all right? We need a bounce that has a reflector and all that other good stuff in it because it will come in handy, especially for those small little shots where we don't need a light 
or you know to control it maybe we're gonna need it for the park we don't know but we're gonna come prepared all right so here's another thing that you really need on set especially with equipment like this a little uh, tool kit right and also a little baggy right now in this bag I want to show you guys what I got in here now these are two, the tools that I got I got my little allen wrenches my uh, multi-tool you know I got I got a knife I got a bunch of these um, that I need. Well, I don't know why I got this. Well, this is, you know, also for my personal tools or whatever. There's no wire cutting that I'm gonna have to do, you know, on, on, on set. But, you know, just definitely gotta be prepared because you never know what you're gonna come across that you're gonna need these things. All right, so I finished uh, packing everything and this is what we're working with for tomorrow. Yeah, it's small. It's not a lot of gear for, for what we're going to be doing. But at the same time, it's just enough for what we're going to be doing. And you're going to see. You're going to be surprised at how it all looks. And you're going to be like, oh, wow, you did that with, 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 with such little equipment. Damn right I did that with such little equipment. Because that's how I do. I like doing, you know, subtle looks with the lighting. I like everything to look natural. You're not going to see me with a whole bunch of lights set up all over the place. And it's complete overkill. I don't do that stuff. It's not my style. All right, so today is the day of the shoot. I'm about to go pack the car. It's like 11.30 right now. I'm gonna head to Elizabeth, pick up JP. I'm gonna go to Jersey City, pick up an assistant. And then we're gonna head out to New York, see how this day goes. Car is full, I'm ready to rock. I'm gonna do a dummy check on time, make sure I got everything I need. The first location upstairs in the apartment. So we gotta take advantage of some time. So we're going to the park right now. We're gonna get the picnic scene, which is a flashback. And then we're gonna head back, get the rest of the shots. We're going a little out of order of the schedule. Pretty much we're trying to maximize the time that we have with some of the extras. We gotta make it count. We were battling the sun here, especially the clouds. It was very tough because it was super, super bright and it was in the middle of the day. So what we had to do is we had to use ND filters just to stop down the intensity of the brightness. For this scene, we were giving it that Christmas feel. I was pretty much using just soft lighting, you know, to, to emulate an early day, a little cold so that you know it's wintry, but it gives it a nice feel. Action. For this shot, we had her key lighting to the left of me, and we also had the rim lighting, which is pretty much coming from the hallway uh, to the right of her, I mean, to the left of her, and it, it's nice because it highlights her right when she walks into the room. Now, this is not a good feeling of what's going on. She pretty much caught him cheating on her, but we're not going to reveal that, but we definitely don't want to be surprised. This is the outdoor nighttime scene that I was referring to. And what we did was in the balcony, we had the one light that's behind her with a blue gel simulating the moonlight. And then the light right behind him is pretty much coming from the nearby buildings. This was the indoor scene that I was referring to, uh, which I used the 1K outside. And what I did was I put on a blue gel on that light as well and I held it up a little bit higher to aim it down that way you can't really tell that the light was right there because it was obvious dead on so what I did was tilting it down and it looked like moonlighting so it was, it was easy to hide the light especially what we did with the blinds so what we did with the reshoot we pretty much kept the lighting very similar um, how we initially had it and we just had the key light right here by the wall that way it can light them up and the rest of the lighting pretty much came from the apartment you know like I said we kept that lighting the whole entire way uh, there was only a little bit of movement that we had to do some minor adjustments because of the different angles we wrapped up the shoot, wasn't able to film a whole lot of behind the scenes because we were crunched on time, so I didn't have time to whip out the phone. But we got everything done, and that's what matters. That's what's most important. But I will show you guys each scene, how I lit everything. And uh, yeah, so uh, stay tuned for that.